Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here, another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to delete a system restore point in Windows 10. So while system protection can be very useful in helping to restore your computer back to a usable state in the event of corrupt system files, um, it can also be useful if you are trying to back up to a previous date and you want to protect documents and files and settings you might have on your computer. So this tutorial will go over specifically how to delete specific system file restore points in Windows 10. So it's not going to delete all of them. It'll actually let you pick whichever ones you want to delete. So please keep in mind this will actually not delete any system image restore points, which is created when you create a system image. So with that out of the way, let's just jump straight into it. And we're going to start by heading over to the internet. And I'm actually going to just open up any web browser here. And we're going to head over and we're going to type in CCleaner. So once, so it's going to be two C's and then Leaner, so CCleaner. And then you want to select um, one of the first options from the list, which should say CCleaner, PC Optimization and Cleaning, free download. So you want to select that. As the time of this recording, that's at least what it says. And then on their web page, you want to download the free version right here. Select the option on the left side that says free. Well, at the time of this recording, it's on the left side. You want to make sure it's a free download, so select that. Again, make sure you're downloading the free one. So, download's pretty quick here. Once it's done downloading, you want to run it might get a user account control window, select yes. Now underneath the setup window you can left click on customize here. You can change different settings or you can just personally keep everything the same and then just uninstall it when you're done performing the tasks that we're going to go through today. You're more than welcome to do that. If you do not have Google Chrome already installed in your computer it might try and bundle it with it. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you don't want to have Google Chrome installed, you might want to go through the custom options. And then you want to left click on install. So this will take a couple moments. It shouldn't take very long here. I'm going to uncheck view release notes, but I am going to check run CCleaner. Okay, so we're going to go underneath the tools tab on the left side here. And then almost directly next to it, there should be an entry that says System Restore. You want to left click on that. So now we see that all of our System Restore points would be listed here. And we can see the last one is disabled for System Safety. So it appears the most recent one is disabled right here. However, if we had multiple System Restore points listed, we could actually pick and choose which ones you wanted to delete. This is a nice feature considering how you can actually go through and pick certain System Restore points you want to delete, whereas otherwise you would have to be a little bit more messy, um, let's just say like that, in order to delete specific Restore points. Definitely would not be as simple as just clicking on one Restore point and then left clicking on this Remove button down here. Um, just remember you cannot undo these changes. So then left click on OK and you can see the system restore point was deleted. Um, very nice tool. Um, I definitely like it for a lot of different purposes other than just cleaning temporary internet files. Uh, there's also a duplicate finder for duplicate files on your computer. You might want to scan that. But there's definitely a lot of other tools built into CCleaner. But for the purpose of this review, um, it's definitely nice to be able to access their system restore area. So. Uh, once you're done doing that, you can close out of here and restart your computer, and you should be good to go. So, I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.